Hi, Z here, coming to you from my studio uh, with another video for Recycle Reuse. Uh, as promised, I wanted to show you what to do with the glitter canisters from the stress relief glitter bottles that we made earlier. And I'm going to show you how to make a bag for traveling spices, your pills. You can even use the bag for a pencil bag later on. This method can be used for anything. Uh, and it's kind of a neat little thing and you're recycling your canisters and you can easily if you wash your Ziploc some people do you can recycle your Ziplocs for something like this okay so the materials you will need are your recycled canisters the slider Ziploc bags um, I bought these at great Great, you know, the great value brand Walmart. You can get them at the dollar store. They have them at the dollar store, so you know, you don't have to pay a whole lot for your bags. Or again, like I said, you can recycle your used ones. So just wash them out and make sure that they're clean and dry before you put your duct tape on. Which is the other material you are gonna need is duct tape. And I got this at Walmart. You can get the different styled ones. They're located over in the paint section, so you know you can make some really cool things. Duct tape has come a long way, it's not just a boring old gray. Uh, so I'm going to show you how to make this real quick. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to choose which side you want to put on. You can have the writing side out or you can cover the writing side, it doesn't matter uh, which what one you do. You can leave this side out if you want so you can write on it and write spices or whatever you keep in here. So, all right, so here we go. Uh, you just basically are going to take your duct tape and you're just going to place it on. All right, you're gonna have to, you wanna overlap it a little bit. You wanna make it even down at the bottom. All right, you don't have to overlap it a lot, just a little bit so you can fold it over and make it steady, sturdy, not steady, sturdy. All right, and then they go this, this way. Just keep going all the way up. Overlap a little bit if you want to or not. You can make it as even as you need to. You can go right up to the edge or you can go overlap it a little bit. See what I'm doing here? I don't know if you can see it, but. Okay, that's all I did was I just covered the back completely all the way up to the zipper part. All right, and you take it and you fold the edges over. Oh. I need to make a little bit another piece here to so that I can fold underneath. Okay, you want to make it so it overlaps a little bit so that you can fold the bottom part, you know, and it overlaps on the edges and it overlaps a little bit on the bottom so that you can fold that over so that it holds it in place like this, like so. Now you don't have to be perfect with it. I mean, if it's got wrinkles, that's fine. It just means it's got character, you know, so see how I folded that over at the bottom? Okay, now we're going to fold over the edges. so okay both sides okay all right so you're starting to get a little frame going on there okay and then you take Another piece. Now this time you don't want to overlap. You want to just go right up to the edge. But you do want the bottom to overlap, but not the edges. 
because you want to be able to see your spices. And what you're doing is you're just... covering the bottom so that you can hold that tape in place okay so then you got your edges here right so then you just fold over your bottom like so and then you can just trim off any like extra here that I've got got a little bit extra going on here so I'm just going to trim that off like that okay all right now you want to do up the sides and along the top so down the sides you are going to Overlap, you want to line it up so exactly with the fold over pieces, okay, to cover those pieces to make it look nice, all right. And again, trim it right off. You don't want it to overlap on the bottom now, you want it to just come down to the bottom so that it only overlaps on the edges, see. And then you just fold this over like that. All right. And you do that for the other side as well. Again, no overlapping on the bottom, and then you fold it over like so, make it, you know, so that it's nice and snug. You don't have anything overlapping. Okay. I was a little off at the top, but eh, it's okay. No big deal, because you're going to put a piece across the top to make it like a frame. So now you take the piece. Now, if you wanted to, you could cut this in half. Or see if you could find thinner duct tape. I don't think so. But you could cut this in half so that the top border is not so big. But I don't care. So I'm doing it this way. Okay, so you put it right up against the zipper. Make sure there's no overlapping on the edges. And if you have a little overlap, just fold it over. It's fine. Okay, and there you go. And now you can use this for your traveling spice bottles, traveling pill bottles. You can use it for a pencil bag. You could use it for your makeup. Uh, you can use it for anything. And there's always the option that if you're not going to want to see through the window, you don't have to make this window. You can just cover everything completely. Okay, so thanks for watching and look forward to doing another Recycle Reuse. Z signing off. Later.